Welcome everyone to the Cat's Meowth and a double sale video. So first up is this brand new Scizor playmat. It was only used uh, for a couple of matches during the North Carolina State Championship, which is where it came from. But as uh, both myself and my fiance got one, uh, we really don't need to keep two of the same playmat around, which is why this one's being sold. As far as I know, uh, it didn't get any, uh, any kind of damage just being in our bag. I'm sure there's probably a I mean, it's not like in the plastic wrap or anything like that, but everything else on it should be perfect. Um, asking 25 shipped for it, and that's within the U.S., probably going to be in a priority flat rate uh, bubble mailer. So instead of being rolled up, it'll be slightly folded. But as it's cloth, that shouldn't hurt it. Um, if you are interested in a, uh, other shipping options, um, tube, something like that, uh, just let me know and maybe we can work out something else. So uh, 25 shipped for the mat. And then uh, the other one that we have is a damaged lot. So uh, appropriately, I thought, well, why don't we put the damaged cards in a damaged binder and sell it all in one go? So uh, this is also 25. Now this is, um, I'm going to call it a damaged monster binder, but it's uh, still very usable. Um, it's actually, uh, it was melted I guess that's the best way to uh, to say it, in a car, uh, probably four years ago. Um, it was left in the back seat at a tournament, um, directly in the sun, and uh, it just kind of, um, the pages kind of shrunk just a little bit. Nothing melted, but everything just shrunk up. So it makes it a much uh, tighter fit for the cards, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it also just pulls the plastic and makes everything fairly wrinkled. Most of the damage is actually to the cover um, where it's cracked and peeling because of the sun damage but as you can see it still holds all the cards um, nice and safe so it does still have uh, use in it it's just not a very nice binder and uh, honestly the only reason I'm getting rid of it I didn't really mind using it but my fiance hates the um, the sound because uh, I mean it's a monster binder anyway so it already kind of has that crinkly sound uh, but now that it has the sun damage I mean seeing you can see a huge crack there in the plastic um, and a corner missing there and then the wrinkles in the front um, and it has this uh, that 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 scratchy sound he hates that um, it drove him crazy every time I opened up this binder to do anything with it so he got me a replacement on the condition that I get rid of this one uh, if you've noticed I have a nice new ultra rare uh, bright blue trade binder that holds all of my beautiful cards to show off so these are all damaged uh, rares hollows and a few EX's and I'll go through them um, once more but I just while I rambled I figured give you guys something to look at these are are all common and uncommons, um, a few trainers, energy, um, some old, some new. That is sh shadowless, um, so uh, I, I don't know if, uh, I, I feel like 25 shipped is a fair uh, price. Um, again, this is going to be shipped in probably a uh, priority flat uh, rate mailer, so uh, that takes up about uh, five or six dollars, I believe, of the shipping costs already. And, uh, I mean, like I said, the binder is still usable. Uh, now, the Verizian, um, the damage may not look so bad, maybe through the sleeve, but it was chewed by a dog. Um, so the bottom corner is terribly, terribly ripped. Um, I could not imagine this actually being allowed for tournament play. So um, I really don't know if it has any value, but uh, for some reason I saw a few, um, another. this happened with a few other cards a few months ago, and uh, people were still interested in them. So I don't know what sort of fun projects uh, can be made from them, but uh, figured they're uh, good, good use as any. So uh, a few other cool little things, the Blossom, uh, pre-release Gyarados, um, all sorts of damage, everything from edge wear creases, uh, stains, um, uh, the dog chewing them, obviously. I don't actually, I think the Verizian may be the only one. Most of them are uh, fairly minor. Some of them are worse, like you can see some huge peeling on that nose leaf, but most of them are just little dings here and there. Um, but you uh, forget what the count is, but you can see there's uh, several dozen and like I said all of these um, They were starting out with the ultra rares and promos moving into hollows and then non hollow rares And you can see a variety of sets all sorts of uh, old stuff and like a whole page of computer searches and Ellie kids almost um, There's a couple more um, 
So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, PM or email me, thecatsmeowth at gmail.com. Take cash, money order, PayPal, and uh, hopefully everyone will stay tuned. We have a few TCBMs to come up during uh, this week, but we will dive right back into the openings this weekend. We have plenty of Japanese boxes to open, as well as a few English spring releases.